Why, hello there! Welcome to my channel. Today we saved this caterpillar. He's right over there. We saved him from our cat. Since he looked weak and not able to survive in the wild, we kept him and decided to give him a new home. Right over here. As you can see, my sister decorated it a bit. Hearts and stuff. Okay, anyway, today I'll be showing you the main needs of a caterpillar. Like this one. And how it and how to keep it healthy. So first of all, you need a place to keep your caterpillar in. You can use any transparent material. In our case, we use a plastic container. Then you need to poke holes into it, like these ones, right here. You can't really see them, but they're there. You need to poke holes so that your caterpillar can breathe, obviously. You need sticks as well, like these, over here. You need sticks as well because when it pupates, it needs something to hang on to. And last but not least, the least, the leaves that he is eating right now. Most likely the leaves that you found from the plant you found it on. In our case, we found this little guy on our calamansi leaves. You'll need to dip or spray the leaves with water because the um, caterpillars also need water for them to grow. Well, let's take him out of his cage now, more like a home, so you can get a better look at him. Come out, little buddy. And there he is. This species is called a common marmot, part of the swallowtail family. They are common in Asia and can be found on citrus trees. For now, his skin is brown and white, but soon he'll molt into a skin more pleasing to the eye, which is green with stripes. Right now he looks kind of... eh. Let's watch him for a little bit. Aww. Caterpillars really are the best. They're also easy to take care of. Of course, if you have the right materials. Ooh, looks like he's eating. Well, I guess that's all for today. If you enjoyed, hit the subscribe button for more updates on this caterpillar. And far other fun videos. That's all. Bye!